Just as God designed the incredible wonders of the universe, he also designed the perfect way for us to eat for health and for a long and fruitful life. This series of teachings on eating God's way for health and weight loss was inspired by God showing me different aspects of his eating plan for us. Each post will be on a different topic, but at the end, you will get an opportunity to hear how I learned God's eating plan. It shares what inspired me and what I learned about this topic. If you have not heard this, please take the time to listen. What are the benefits of dairy? Dairy is a problem for many people who are lactose intolerant. I was one of those who had problems drinking a glass of milk or eating low-fat dairy products. However, I could eat ice cream, hard cheeses, and yogurt. What I first found out from my daughter, whose child was lactose intolerant, was that her child had no problem with ice cream because it is high-fat dairy. Low-fat dairy gave me a digestive problem, so I switched to high-fat and found my digestion was fine with them. Why is this? In my research, I found that high-fat dairy has less lactose than low-fat. Butter has only trace amounts of lactose. Additionally, fermented dairy converts lactose to lactic acid. Try some Greek yogurt. It is full fat, but ironically is good for weight loss because it is high in protein, but low in fat, carbohydrates, calories, and sugar. Also, it is rich in probiotics to help immune and digestive health. It is a strain to remove whey. Whey is 75% lactose. Greek yogurt has lower amounts of sugar than regular yogurt. If you look at the sugar content of low-fat yogurt, it is higher in sugar because when you remove the fat, yogurt becomes tasteless. Therefore, sugar is added to improve the flavor. Dr. William Davis in his book, Wheat Belly, advises people to choose organic, full-fat dairy, but never low-fat or non-fat. Also, he advises to choose unflavored and unsweetened fermented dairy as it reduces problem ingredients. Full fat, hard cheeses he highly recommends. The cottage cheese and milk should be limited to one serving a day. Another benefit to full fat dairy is that it makes you feel full sooner. In the Bible, the Israelites drank goat and sheep's milk and ate butter and cheese. The promised land was said to be a land flowing with milk and honey. This meant that the land was abundantly fertile. Spiritually, the Bible says, as newborn babes desire the pure milk of the word that she may grow. Just as babies need milk, God's people should feed on the milk of God's word every day, according to the late Reverend Billy Graham. There is nothing like berries with Greek yogurt or occasionally uh, one scoop of ice cream on a hot day. Omelets with cheddar cheese and vegetables make a terrific brunch or lunch. Try some full-fat dairy even if you are mildly lactose intolerant. Milk is a must for babies but not necessary for adults, according to Vasanti Male, assistant professor of nutrition at Harvard. Spiritually feed on the milk of God's word instead and enjoy eating some full-fat dairy products. The taste is oh so much better than low or non-fat dairy and has almost twice as much protein as low-fat, containing all the essential amino acids. While I was receiving prophetic words from God that I have put on a YouTube site called prophetic words for the hearts of God's people, suddenly I received a prophecy about people are killing themselves with what and how they eat. 
This prophecy did not seem to fit with the others I had received, so I asked God what to do with it. The words I heard were this, start another YouTube series called Eating God's Way for Healing and Weight Loss. Interesting, because I had been delving into how I could lose weight and eat healthy. Therefore, I thought the prophecy might be for me alone. But no, the still small voice assured me it was for multitudes of his people. He said they are eating the wrong things, plus too much of them, and need to know when and how much to eat. God said to my spirit, do it as my people are literally making themselves sick with their food choices and excess weight. Thus, I will share what God has shown me and what I have learned from my research. It will not be technical, as as I am not a scientist nor a doctor. When I asked him, God's Spirit told me to use the same venue as I'm using on another YouTube site. My own story of many body malfunctions and diseases God has shown were caused by what I ate. How much and how often will be shared here also. Several unnecessary surgeries could have been avoided had I known God's way to eat. Learn, enjoy, and be blessed. If you are spiritually hungry, you might want to check out my other YouTube site called Prophetic Words for the Hearts of God's People by Patricia Williams.